project because I would like to welcome on the stage Manuel Rego, who's going to present his project on a servo server, isn't it? So this is incredible. So thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah, I'm, this is servo basically. I mean, the uh, mini browser we have, so I'm going to use it to, to do the presentation. So yeah, uh, for those that doesn't know the project, servo is, yeah, an embeddable independent memory safe modular parallel web browser engine. So like you could think on Chromium or WebKit or Gecko. So servo is, is one written in Rust. I'm Manuel Rego, I work at Igalia, where we have lots of experience with the web platform, and we have been taking over the maintenance of Servo for the last couple of years. So this is going to be an update on the, yeah, the last year since the last member summit. This is a video of yeah, the Servo, uh, Servo shell application browsing the servo.org website. You can see that many things start to work, not like last year. So we have flexible support, things like that, so the, it looks like a regular uh, browser, I mean, we don't have still uh, YouTube support, but still uh, many things work. And this is going out to uh, even uh, go to the Wikipedia page and you will see how, how it looks. We have been doing a lot of progress, implementing lots of features. So yeah, now it starts to, to render yeah, many more things and, and work better. So yeah, like if we focus on the work we have been doing, a lot of communication work to make people aware that service is not dead anymore because for a couple of years it was kind of dead. So like a lot of monthly blog posts that have made too many <laughs> popular websites. We are doing weekly updates for a while in Mastodon and Twitter, and we have been giving talks in many events. There is having a new one coming in the Ubuntu Summit like in a month or so. So I mean, a lot of, of talks to spread the word about the project. And we can see how the project has been growing this last couple of years. If we check like some numbers of these stats, for the people that don't know the history of the project, uh, it started by Mozilla when they were starting with the Rust language and Servo as a proof of concept for it. But then in 2020, Mozilla lay off the whole team and donated it to Linux Foundation. And for a couple of years, there were no, almost no activity on the project. And yeah, Igalia took over the maintenance in January last year. And yeah, since then, we have been growing the project a lot, like you see. We have grown, like, I mean, like, number of comments this year is almost the double than last year. And, like, we have now 100 contributors, of course, not all of them. I mean, these are unique contributors during the whole year, but we have, like, uh, 20 active contributors working on the project at this point, so it's a quite active project. At the same time, yeah, it's still very popular. It has been very popular since the beginning of Servo, and it's still, like, I mean, we just check the GitHub stars. And it's going up and up, and we have passed like 25,000. So it's like, yeah, people really like Servo. <laughs> so yeah, we have set up donations on, on Open Collective and GitHub sponsored this year. We got more than 350 people, probably now. This is from last week, probably now it's 370 or 80, I don't know. We get donations every day. And it's like, yeah, I think it's now $17,000 what we have reached so far. But yeah, that's also great. And yeah, about the new features and new things, like Servo works on Windows, Linux, and Mac, but also we are adding new platforms. We have Android support now and Open Harmony also. Uh, yeah, for Android support, you can also go to the Servo website, download the APK and install. It's not yet in stores because it's experimental, but still the Open Harmony is being added right now. And a good thing that happened also during this year is that some projects started to use or experiment with Servo. So first thing was with Tauri, we were working together. Tauri is a Rust UI framework, and they were, yeah, they used like the system web view usually, and they were doing an experiment using Servo underneath to render the, the, the applications. Then there was also yeah, some experiments like this split from the Ioxus Labs, that yeah, they are using parts of Servo, a module that is called Stylo, which also Firefox use, to get the styles and CSS and all that, and being able to, to render websites also. There was also experiment uh, Qt Web View that is a grab in Qt around the Servo project, so you can also use it to render things if you have a Qt application. And there is this project called Verso that is like exploratory uh, browser uh, on top of Servo, so basically it's a new browser. I mean, it's of course just a pet project in a sense now, just a uh, um, URL bar and not a lot of things, but basically exploring how to create a browser using Servo underneath. So there are yeah, a momentum being grown here. And and yeah, like about features we have been working on, we have this servo shell I'm using it now. 
uh, to render things. We have lots of progress in HTML and CSS support. I mean, like for CSS support, uh, Servo has a new layout engine that was started when Mozilla were laying off the team. And yeah, like when we started working on it, it was like around 40% of pass rate of the CSS test suite. And now we are uh, almost in 70, not yet, but percent. So it's like growing a lot. We also have, I mean, there are people working on the community on WebXR support, Gamepad API, DevTools have been bring back. So you can use DevTools for when you're yeah, working on Servo also. So yeah, many, many things that happened during this year. And just like taking a look to the future, I mean, like we think that Servo can actually be a web engine for the future. It has some very good things. It's independent. It has open governance at the Linux Foundation Europe and it doesn't depend on any main company or main actor behind it. Like the TSC has people from different companies and yeah, just join regularly every month and discuss the, yeah, the roadmap of the project or the different tasks and all that. It's a performance, it's the only engine that is using parallelization for web content. I mean, that was one of the goals of the project since the beginning, to be parallel and use as much parallelization as possible. Thank you to the Rust language and is the only, neither Chromium or WebKit or Gecko are using parallelization for web content. And it's secure because it's the only one using Rust. I mean, Rust prevents a lot of memory vulnerabilities and all that. So it has very good strong points. And yeah, how we can get there to be in the engine of the future. We need to grow a healthy ecosystem. We are on the process. And of course, the project is growing. So it seems we are getting results. But yeah, more people, more organizations should join efforts. So yeah, we will need several organizations and, and people joining efforts. And of course, we need money to make that happen. So public and pri private funding will be very needed in the, in the future to keep growing the project and, and being able to, to be a potential alternative. And then like we have good, very good opportunities. It can be used for simple applications when you control what you're rendering. I'm using it now for a Reveal.js presentation here. And yeah, I mean, it works. So it can be used already for that. It can be like the, the engine for some UI frameworks. We were talking about Tauri or Dioxus and that kind of things. They are popular Rust UI frameworks and it can be the engine behind them. And ideally in a few years, we could be like the default web engine. When you have a Rust application, if you need to render web content, why use Chromium or WebKit? I mean, you could just use Rust and you will have, I mean, your server and you will have a full Rust stack on that side. So yeah. And yeah, of course, join the project. I mean, uh, you have here the links to everything. I mean, we have the booth today here. We were also in the Igalia booth at the Open Source Summit. So yeah, I mean, you know how to find us. Just talk to us and, and yeah, we want to grow this even further. And yeah, that's all. Thank you, everyone.